Wait, what do we say? <laughs> Same as always. That's with a full light. It says ND2, so it gives me suggestion to go ND2. I go ND1, ND2, ND3. Just you can see the difference. And it says ND2. So basically it tells me the ND2 is good. See, that's without neutral density filter. And it says ND2 again. And it stopped flashing when I press the ND2. So this is another example of ND filter in action. Outside it's not too overly overexposed to light, but it shows me here ND1 filter. I'm following, I put ND1 and it stopped blinking. I go ND2 and it's blinking ND1. That means it's too much, too dark. ND3 blinks ND1, that's ND2. Still blinks ND1, so it tells me to put it ND1. And again, zero, clear, ND1 is blinking. ND1 engaged, no blinking, it's right now in the auto mode. Okay, and... You go first. No, you go first. And Baka, mm -hmm. did you work hard? No. Did you clean something? Yes. Let's go. Do you know that we're filming now in ND1 filter? No. No? Look at the glass. I even don't know what's that. That's uh, when it's too sunny. Like I'm gonna try like to now, explain you. Sun in my eyes. Yes, yes, like well, like right helps. now. It's too <laughs> sunny. Help me. It doesn't help you, <laughs> but for the camera, camera has sunglasses. This is without ND1 filter. Okay. ND2, ND3, whatever. And look, 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 this is ND1 engaged and that's good. That's ND2 and that's ND3. So it shows me the ND2 is enough. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll listen to, for, for the suggestion in the camera. Just a second. So that's ND2 and it's good. Uh -huh. That's just example. Okay, that was for my channel only. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Okay, recording. Now it's automatic mode. I made a mistake outside. We need to do manual. I switched to manual now. And now take it, use all ND filters. See, that's darker. That's ND1. That's ND2. And that's the black ND3. Right? So it's a bad timing because now we don't have a sunlight. But that's the main idea. Can you move a little bit? A little bit sunshine. There you go. So, this is automatic. And changing any filter in the automatic, the camera is immediately compensating and is gonna make basically the same, right? But if you put the manual, that's a different story. That's ND1, I mean clear, zero. That's ND1 and it stays darker. That's a real shade and real, look here. And then ND2 and then ND3, complete, when it's really, really sunny outside. That helps. But I made a mistake, I made it in the other. It has to be in the manual. And then you can do everything, all good stuff, like including the focus with this focusing ring, like changing and then going to 2.8 even if it's sunny outside that's the real example of using ND filter unfortunately now we don't have enough light but I just showed you the main principle of it when it's sunny just put the shades according to what you think and you better see outside the color of the skies and everything and you can wide open your 2.8 opening a maximum wide open your lens and still do it on a bright sunny day thanks for watching bye bye <laughs> i got rid of my wife because she was obviously behaving not 
uh, seriously about uh, video graphing or video taking, uh, movie taking, uh, moving pictures, film, cinema, whatever, <laughs> video graphing. I just wanted to finish with summarizing today's lesson for me, basically. I'm still learning and by myself learning myself what to do, I teach other people too, or I try, uh, I'm trying to. So, in uh, manual control in this camera, AX700, compared to the AX43, which is, if you put the manuals over there into manual control, you get kind of a half, like a false way manual. You change like uh, aperture or you change like uh, iris and then <laughs> camera compensates immediately with the auto gain. It, it gets a more gain, like uh, uh, to help with the picture or changes the shutter speed. But in this case, in AX700, it's a manual, is a real manual control. So you have independent uh, control of every single aspect. Iris opening lens, you have uh, the gain control. I put the zero gain, so off. So camera doesn't compensate for, for gain. And plus it's manual. And then you have, uh, <clears throat> third one is a shutter speed. I'm using angle. 180 because this one com this camera does allow it so I don't, I don't think about it just the 180 degrees rule and I'm using that instead of shutter speed and it's much easier <clears throat> but anyway that's I just wanted to say that in a manual control you have full manual control and camera doesn't compensate and doesn't give you any suggestions no blinking uh, filters like uh, and one uh, and two whatever and three uh, doesn't give you any suggestion in an auto mode it gives you suggestions so it's good for learning and to get like a sense uh, what's the color of picture and how does it look on the screen you are still in the process of learning in auto but in manual you are in the process of manual and <coughs> it's up to you you choose whatever you want to choose something like a manual focus so independent access to all three key features which is iris lens opening again control and uh, shutter speed for example i'm recording now in auto mode and it shows me i'm going to read it to you 2.8 6 decibel gain 180 degrees okay and it doesn't show me any any suggestion but i'm going to just flip it just to show what's going to happen. 2.8, 21 decibel. So it was 2.8, 9 decibel. Now, if I push it to ND1, it shows me ND off. So I don't need it, right? But camera switch from 9 to 12, uh, to 21 decibel, uh, 2.8. Then I switch to ND2. Camera switches to 27 decibel, still to 2.8, and finally 27 decibel still. And ND off, ND2, ND off. It gives me suggestions, ND1, ND off. So this is good. But if I switch to manual mode right now, I have immediate access to, to uh, iris control. So I changed the iris now to 5.6, 6.8, so 11 now. 10, 9, 6, 8, 7, 8, 7, 3, 6, 8, 6, 2, 5, 6, 5, 2, 4, 8, 4, 4, 4, 3, 7, 3, 4, 3, 1, and 2, 8. That's all the settings I did manually while the zero decibel was on again and shutter speed is 180 degrees so that's the thing switching to ND filter ND1 nothing changes nothing changes everything's up to, is up to me if I switch to the gain now it's white and with this wheel I can go gain higher see up to this is like 33, 33 decibel with ND1 filter. And everything stays the same, 2.8. And zero gain. 
I go on minus 3, but this is 0. Or if I go to shutter speed, change the shutter speed, see, angle is changing now to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, all the way to 180 degrees. That's 360 times 4 shutter speed, oh, I mean angle. 362, 360, 216, 180, right? <laughs> so it follows, right? It doesn't give you any suggestions, no blinking. And now it's, uh, again, still in manual and it's uh, zero. Now it's again 9 decibel, 2.8, 180, but I switch to auto. And that's it. Another thing. I just changed now from shutter angle to shutter speed. So it's showing now in auto mode 2.8 iris opening, 9 decibel gain and 60. So 1 to 60 shutter speed, right? I'm going to be using this dial, but I need to switch to the manual first. So switch to manual first. Uh, okay, down. And now it's showing 2.8, 0 decibel, and this is 8, then 15, 130, 18, 115. So from the beginning, 18, one second, 115th, 130, 150, 190, 160, that was automatically, a 190, 100. 125, 180, 250, 350, 500, 725, 1000, uh, 1500, 2000, 3000, 4000, 6000, and 10,000. And go back fast. There you go. So around 100, this is 60. And this is again 8. <laughs> Just to see the coloration, uh, correlation actually, uh, connection between shooting angle and shooting speed, uh, shutter speed, I wanted to say. <laughs> Go back to 60. Yeah, this is 60. Okay, that's it. And thanks for watching. I'm shaking because, <laughs> not because I'm excited, because the camera is damn heavy. <laughs> Just holding with two hands and my hand is, left hand is like, uh, I need a gimbal. That's the next thing I'm gonna buy. Uh, nice gimbal control. This camera, I just wanted to say uh, just a little bit more, <laughs> ranting around, uh, gobbling, that this camera really requires a good uh, uh, stabilizing because it's not working very good. Active is taking too much crop uh, and it doesn't still work good and the standard is okay but I would rather turn it off and put it on a gimbal and have a perfect fluid motion with zero uh, quality uh, squeezing compensating whatever just the off and put it on a gimbal that's gonna be next my my next purchase hopefully okay thanks for watching I'm looking for the button to to stop recording here it is i found it <laughs> thanks <laughs> goodbye have a nice life bye bye thanks for watching bye bye